Hey guys, welcome back to Big Ray DC. It's time for another knife sale. Just wanted to come on uh, real quick and just kind of go through the ground rules, if you will. Uh, they're all listed down in the description, along with all the knives and the prices and all that good stuff. But I will tell you that as a perk from my channel members, they get first shot at all knife sales. Roughly 48 hours, two days-ish. They're going to have a shot at it. And, you know, as a channel member, you actually get a 20% discount on all the knives. So it's a little bit of a perk. But anyway, it's going to go to them first. And then once the time is up, roughly two days, uh, I will mark it as public. And it'll go out to everybody else. Now, a few things. All prices listed include shipping. Absolutely. And if you bundle knives, we'll definitely haggle a little bit of course because well that's just what we do here uh the knives i think are priced pretty fairly and we'll we well we can talk we can talk now you're going to contact me by email if you would like to purchase a knife big ready dc at gmail.com um, i'm not going to do instagram or anything like that all contacts must come through email it's just easier to keep track of everything and keep things all stacked up in one nice neat place so it's first come first serve um, if you uh, email me and ask me about a knife, I'll tell you, hey, I have one person in front of you. I have three people in front of you. Um, if it sells, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. Either way, I'll let you know. I'll tell you, hey, it sold. Hey, okay, you're up. Uh, do you want it? And we'll go from there. So uh, as with uh, pretty much all that my knife sales, if you bundle, you know, like I said, we'll haggle on the price, of course, cut down a little bit for shipping and all that good stuff. Um, you got to be 18 years old to, uh, to purchase a knife as always. Um, let's see what else. Payment will be taken by PayPal. Friends and family, no note. Uh, I would like to stress that again. PayPal, friends and family, no note. Email me. Uh, you'll get all the pertinent information once we come to a deal. Like I said, all the knives are listed down in the description. Once they're sold, they will be marked as sold. So that'll kind of give you a little bit of, uh, of a heads up as well. So think that pretty much covers just about everything most of the knives have all the stuff they come with uh, there are a few that do not and i will try to point that out to you um i know there's some bird knives in there that don't have uh boxes uh there's a tops knife that doesn't have a box to your knife that doesn't have a box I'm, I swore I kept my Rough Rider Reserve tubes. There's going to be two or three Rough Rider Reserve knives in there. But they... I, I'm trying to look for the tubes. As of right now, they don't have tubes. But I might find them. I, I, I don't think I threw them all the way. But it's looking like I may have. So, anyway. Uh, but most of them will come with the boxes. And we can discuss that. You feel free to ask when you email me. That's fine. But most of the knives have boxes. So... I think that's everything uh real quick guys um i'm going to show you the knife tell you what the tell you what the uh, materials are um and give you a price i, I will we'll take a little look at the knife all these knives are in good condition um the the two yeah i call it it's a two-year bruiser i call it the bruiser user it's my first two year i ever had had that knife for a while it's still in really good condition but it shows a little bit of wear so the price is knocked down pretty well and it, it, of course, it doesn't have a box, but I call it a user. Other than that, uh, the most, <laughs> these knives are in, I mean, I got them, reviewed them, used them a little bit, and that's probably about it, to be perfectly honest with you. So, uh, there will be one knife, there will be one knife that there's no, there won't, there will be no, uh, discount for even channel members. Uh, I'm going to let it go extremely cheap. Uh, <laughs> if you watch an upcoming, if you've probably seen the video on it already by the time this posts. So uh, this is going to be, I'm just going to run through these knives. Uh, hopefully I'll get it put together. It'll probably get put together in different segments. So there we go. Uh, just making sure I get everything out there. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's it. If I think of something, look down in the description, guys. Fair warning. Um, if I think of anything else, it'll be listed down in the description. 
and we'll get it taken care of. But yeah, have fun. Check out what's uh, what's coming, to, what's for sale, and shoot me an email, and let's make a deal. All right, guys, here come the knives. All right, guys, so here we go. We are starting off with probably the big boy of the bunch. This is the Topps Field Crafter. Comes in this pretty much is nylon sheath here. 1095 steel micarta, sort of that natural kind of brown micarta. It's also got a brown kind of finish on the blade. 1095 steel. This knife has, it's, God, I haven't used it in so long. But a very good knife, come extremely sharp, still is very sharp. Guys, I'm asking 120 for the Field Crafter, the Bob, the Brothers of Bushcraft. Next. Okay, so next we've got the Real Steel Terra. It's carbon fiber, uh, 14C, 28N. Pretty much a roller open. It's kind of stiff. This knife, God, I, I haven't used this knife, again, hardly at all. Um, it's just kind of been here. Uh, reviewed it. And now it's ready to find a new home. The real steel Terra, like I said, carbon fiber and 14C, 28N, wire clip. That's the Terra. Now you guys can, uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to go through specs and everything. I'll tell you what the knife is. You guys can go uh, check the specs on it and stuff like that. And we'll just keep right on moving through. All right, now we've got the Vosteed Thornton. Thumb studs, button lock, front flipper. You've got G10 with that kind of full bolster type look. 14C 28N on this one as well. I really like this knife. Uh, it's a Wayne Sharp World collaboration. It's just, uh, yeah, it's going on this sale. I'm asking 50 bucks for this one as well. All right, now we've got the QSP Hawk. Now this is in the copper foil carbon fiber. Just got this knife recently in a uh, monthly knife club box. I already have a Hawk in the collection. Uh, this is S35VN is a steel. You got the thumb studs. You got a flipper. And I know White Mountain Knives had these on sale for like 105 here real recently. So that's what I'm going to ask for this one as well. As with all knives, guys, if you're a channel member, you get 20% off uh, of all knives, except for probably one that's going to come up. There probably won't be any discount uh, for that one. And, and you'll see. But a uh, really good knife. Like I said, copper foil, S35VN. It's a really nice knife. I like the Hawk. Have one in the collection uh, that I really like. So there you go. 105 for that one. All right. On to the DEFCON Jungle Knife Barracuda Titanium D2. This was also a monthly knife club knife here a while back. I have a Barracuda in my collection already. So it is time for this one to go. I am going to ask $50 for this one. And I did forget to mention earlier, uh, most of these knives do have boxes like the Barracuda. I mean, I've got the box, the tool, the cleaning cloth. Uh, there's even some hardware in there. I believe the only ones that don't have a box are the the field crafter does not have a box and i believe there's some rough rider reserves that i don't have boxes for oh and the birds uh, there's going to be a bunch of birds they don't have boxes either so i will tell you uh, if they do or they don't this one does so yep this is the barracuda def from defcon titanium d2 50 bucks next up we got the boker affix mini right here Titanium, red marbled carbon fiber. Uh, I picked this one up at Blade Ops when we were out at Blade Show West last year, and it just doesn't get a lot of carry. I really like this knife. It's marbled carbon fiber. It's VG10 steel. God, it's even VG10. Uh, but uh, it fits me so well. Smaller knife, for sure, as you can see there. Uh, my hand, three and a half inch across here, and it pretty much lands right at three and a half inches. Really cool little knife, good materials, uh, very good action on it, nice detent. Um, I'm asking $100 even for this one. 
All right, we got the Tuya Bruiser User. Um, I say it's a user. It shows a little bit of wear. I mean, it's still in really good shape. Um, but you know, it, it it did get a decent amount of use. This is one of this is the first Tuya I ever had, but it's a G10 D2. Um, I'm asking twenty five bucks for this one, guys. It's great little knife, sharp. It's got a nice solid detent on it. Good action. Good access to the flipper or to the. Uh, liner lock, excuse me, lanyard hole, uh, non-reversible clip on this one, sorry guys, but, and this one does not have a box. Next one out here, we got the Bird Kara Kara 2, FRN, 8CR, 13, it's a lockback, it's a bird knife, a decent little knife, lockback, it drops pretty good. Get it in there, start her up. It's a good size knife. Four position clip. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm asking uh, 25 bucks for that one, guys. And like I said, if you combine knives, we'll definitely work out a deal with price and all that other good stuff. All right, another bird. We've got the Bird Raven 2. This one is G10. Uh... CTS BD1, really nice knife. I really like the way this one fits in my hand, but it just does not get the carry anymore. This one is a liner lock. That CTS BD1, I really kind of like that steel as well. But again, four position clip, lanyard tube, Spyderco product, of course. I am asking 30 bucks for this guy. All right, next up, we have the Bird Flight. This is stainless steel and 8CR. This one is also a lockback. We got some speed holes going on there. We got some finger grooves. You got a four position clip. You can see uh, <laughs> this one, I carried it tip down because it just really didn't bother me. So it's got a nice snap shut. Kind of a cool little knife. And guys, I am asking 20 bucks for that guy. Stainless steel and 8CR. All right, now I'm calling this one uh, the bird bundle. We've got some of the smaller bird knives here. I mean, we've got the Metal Art 2. You got the Robin 2. I think it's the Sparrow is one. And the other one escapes me uh, right off the top of my head. But I'm selling these as a bundle, guys. Um, asking 25 bucks for it. Uh, you got FRN here. You got G10 here. And I'm pretty sure all four of them are 8CR. So selling this one as a bundle. And if you want some of the other bird ones, like I said, we can bundle them all together. And we'll package them up and do them that way. But the four little bird bundle, guys, 25 bucks. All right. So next up, we've got two Rough Rider Reserves. You got the 024 humpback and you've got the 026 roundup, the cell belly. Uh, three bladed cell belly. They're both brown micarta, D2 steel. They're both in really dang near perfect shape. Uh, they've hardly been used. There's kind of a look at the back springs. Uh, both of them very well done of course, and I'm asking $45 for each of them, not for the pair a piece, but, so, hang on, be right back. Oh, I did say earlier, I'm, I'm still looking for the tubes, as of right now, they don't have the tubes, I, I, I guess I threw them away, but I'll, I'll keep looking, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, next, we have got the Rough Rider Black Reserve copperhead now this is a single bladed copperhead it's pretty nice you've got this black pack of wood going on done very well you got these very bright blue vibrant blue liners underneath there very good looking knife copperhead's probably my favorite double bladed but this is a lockback as you can see so very very nice knife and it does come with this really really nice box as well so that's going to take a little bit to ship so 
it'll probably end up having to come. I don't know. I got some bigger boxes here. We'll see. But very nice overall. So that is the Black Reserve Locking Copperhead from Packerwood. Asking 30 bucks for that, guys. 448 steel, by the way. All right, next up, we have got a Kubi. This is the Kubi Camp Nest. It's G10. It's D2. Now, you know, you guys know Kubi's got that crazy sale going on, and you can save any even more with that coupon code that I have. So I'm beating that. I'm asking 25 bucks for the Camp Nest from Kubi. All right. Next up, we have got the Kaiser Friday Club PPY in this red, white, and blue aluminum. Very cool knife. I, I really like the PPY. It's got a good feel to it. I love that blade. Uh, it just never, ever, ever gets carried. So I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'm a goober. Who knows? But it's uh, aluminum and G10. And it is 154 CM steel. And I am asking 60 bucks for the Kaiser Friday Club PPY. Nice knife. Dang. So I guess we're going to kind of be on a Kaiser kick here. Um, this is the Feist. Justin Lundquist design. It is in the blue denim micarta. 154 CM steel. I love the Feist. Uh, I have one more. I, I kept the Kaiser Friday Club one because, well, it's red and black. And I really, really like it. Awesome little knife. I'm asking, what am I asking for this one? I am asking 40 bucks. 40 bucks for the denim micarta. And... The other thing is, it comes with this denim tool roll, or knife roll, too. So, cool little bonus, a little added extra with that one. So, you get the feist and the roll for 40 bucks. Alright, next up, we have the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog Titanium S35VN. Got this one in a monthly knife club box. Again, like the Sheepdog. Um, I've got a G10 one that I just really enjoy a lot. Not that I don't like this titanium one, but yeah, it, it's just, it's not going to stick around. Not going to stick around. Nice little pop of blue on there. Like I said, titanium S35BN. I'm asking 90 bucks. 90 bucks for the sheepdog. Mini sheepdog. All right, next up, we've got a couple. We've got a pair of the uh, Black Appaloosa knives. Um, these ones, I, I love that blade shape. I do. This one, eh, it's pretty good. It's got a, pulls are a little strong going from half stop to in, to full open. Otherwise, um, it's pretty darn good. Now, this one is a little light in the pulls. It's kind of slow into that half stop. See there, it doesn't really pop into that half stop. And then... This little blade is a little bit of a bugger. I haven't flushed the pivots or anything like that. I haven't done anything to them. Um, you do, you'll probably improve the action on them by a little bit. But a couple of cool knives. Uh, I really like the way that black Appaloosa looks. And they, they're they being very, very uncooperative. Anyway, I'm asking 20 bucks for the pair. Selling them as a pair, guys. 20 bucks for the pair. Uh, another Rough Rider. This is the uh, double lockback. The lockhorn comes with this little sheath here. Uh, but the knife itself, it's kind of an interesting knife. I heard a lot of people like it. It's a double bladed. You guys know I'm not really into the whole double bladed knives, even lockback or slip joint, whatever the case may be. Uh, it's not a bad knife overall. Just different and not one that I plan on keeping in the collection. I bought it to review it. And yeah, so there you go. I'm looking at, uh, it's Micarta and 44C. And I'm looking for 30 bucks on the double lock back. The, what is it? The lock, lock horn. All right, guys. Last knife. Case double X bridge line. High banks. It's my Carta. It's 20 CV. Um, if you saw my video last week, yeah, I just, 
I broke my own rule and I'm disappointed that I broke my own rule. So here's the deal, guys. This was 166 new. It's a first production. Um, definitely not asking that. Um, no discounts, channel members or anything. First person to offer, offer me 50 bucks, it's yours. So I uh, just want it gone. Take it for your collection. Be happy. Absolutely. I hope you do. But it's just want it gone. So there you go. That's the last knife. I'm going to show you guys something a little bit different next up. Um, I don't know how to go over, but hey, you know what? Give it a shot. Why not? Hang on one second. All right, so I know probably not a lot of you know, but I used to do the whole paracord thing here oh, a while ago, uh, really before I got into YouTube and doing the channel, but used to do the craft fairs and stuff. But I've got a lot of these NFL-themed paracord bracelets. I mean, there's just a few that I've got out here. Um, I don't have all the teams. I have some of the teams... You know, like that one has changed. It's not the Redskins anymore. It's the Commanders. But anyway, um, if it's something you're interested, uh, give me a shout out when you're, you know, talking knives or whatever. And I'm asking 10 bucks a piece for them, guys. I've got a few of them. I, I've got quite a few. And like I said, I've got quite a few different teams. There's a Falcons, a Steelers. There's a Saints one. What's that? Panthers. Another Panthers, another Saints. I got a few of them in here. So, yeah, I don't know if it's something you're interested in. Uh, yeah, give me a shout out. But I think that's uh, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. That is the sale. I know I went through everything kind of quick, but I didn't want to make this video too darn long. So, you guys know the rules at the beginning of the video, how I want to be contacted, how I want to be paid, email, PayPal, friends and family, no note, nothing like that. So, yeah, have fun, enjoy, and uh, hopefully we can find you a new knife. Thanks a lot, guys. Greatly appreciate it. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.